Third tip, avoid using an exceptional situation to prove a general key point or opinion. Even if the point is apparent, others will call you out on your proof. The fourth tip, consider the context. The temptation may be great to lift an attention-getting passage or comment from a university professor, an author, another recognized expert, and then flush it out with your own assumptions. It's quite embarrassing, however, when that someone in your audience or your readership points out that that expert you quoted actually supports the opposing view. The fifth tip. Consider the validity of other positions on an issue. Even if you ultimately do decide not to present opposing views as you speak or write, considering them all will produce a more thorough and objective analysis of your subject. Sounds like a lot of work? Well, granted, it is. It's time-consuming to double-check sources, facts, quotes, and so forth. But as a confident communicator, your responsibilities include putting in the necessary time to ensure credibility. As a speaker, writer, agency researcher, fundraiser, investor, Wall Street analyst, politician, or CEO, you're morally obligated to present the truth without deception. A second incentive, if you need one, for verifying your information is to avoid the embarrassment of having an audience member or a reader or listener call your era to light in front of a few hundred or a few million other people or find you or send you to jail. Do you have an intriguing example you'd like to share? If so, share it below.